Okay, so what's better, buying a used flagship or a brand new budget phone? All right, so let's get one thing out of the way. This applies more, I'm talking specifically more about Android devices. So if you're in the market for an iPhone, consider subscribing because I'll be doing a video specifically on that very soon. Okay, so with that out of the way, so let's say you're in the market for a new phone and you are on a budget. So you've seen a phone that you want and it's a budget device, but at the same time, for that same price, you have a flagship, a used flagship, maybe from a couple of years ago, that is also for sale and is in uh, good condition, it would seem. Which one do you buy? Your choice will hinge on three or four things. The first is, you know, what you do with your phone mostly. If what you do is, so are you a power user or just a casual? Uh, user and you don't you don't need the extra grounds for a flagship second thing is do you mind about updates do you care if you get an update on your phone or not the third is the price difference between the two it might not be exactly the same when you factor in discounts and age of device and all that and the fourth which is definitely probably the most important one are you willing to hunt are you ready to put in some work and look for that perfect deal so let's dive into the first one what do you do with your phone if you're someone who needs a good camera who need who plays a lot of games and needs a lot of space then a flagship from two years ago will quite frankly just run circles around any brand new budget device because those are the areas where oh, that differentiate the two apart from build quality as well if you are someone who needs the battery more budget phones these days tend to have a lot more a lot a lot more battery capacity than the flagship ones and also because they mostly use 720 screens 720p screens the batteries will definitely last two days easily uh, if you have say for example an infinix with 5000 milliamp hours that will take you two days no problem the second one is the age of the flagship how old is too old for a flagship so generally you don't want to buy something that is more than you don't want a device that is more than three years old reasons being that first of all the tech with uh, budget phones by that time would have definitely tried to catch up a bit to the point where the differences might not be as big uh, the third one is battery capacity of those flagships in all those three years that phone has been used and has been charged hundreds tens of thousands of times and it will definitely have lost a lot of its battery capacity so you you probably will end up with a phone that needs a battery replacement that's something you need to keep in mind all the phones tend not to get updates especially if your phone is a heavily skinned phone like say ones from samsung and uh, xiaomi they put skins on that phone so definitely a flagship from them would take a lot longer to to get an update through and you know as we know with android the state of updates isn't the best in the world but then also on the flip side if your budget phone is skinned then also you probably be stuck with the OS you get on your phone out of the box that's what you'll have for the length that you own it unless it's obviously running Android 1 and it's something closer to stock then you are sure of at least two years of full Android updates I'm going to just gloss over price because it's kind of self-explanatory but the last one I'm going to talk about is your patience generally when it comes to looking for a flagship device that is used you're going to need a lot of patience and a lot of searching and it takes just a bit longer as opposed to walking into a shop and buying what you want so let's let's go through the pros and cons of getting a flagship versus a so the cameras if you're someone who uses a lot of social media uh maybe you're a budding influencer or whatever it is a flagship from a couple of years ago will definitely have better cameras than your quad camera budget device i'm not going to name brands which by the way why don't they just give us one good camera instead of four not less than good cameras beats me the second thing is quality you should keep in mind that flagships are built to last because they are flagships and they are what represent the brands so definitely you want something that is well built and because it's well built your flagship device will definitely will most likely have held up better over the years than a budget device there's less chances of it failing spontaneously down the line i know that i've had a couple of nokias just straight up die on me after three four years so updates we were talking about this but you should be mindful if you if you're buying a 
an old flagship first check the state of its updates has it been updated recently are there any plans for future updates or are you okay with the version of android that you'll be getting when you buy it the last one is warranty whenever you're buying a used device you obviously don't have manufacturer warranty and i'm talking about here in uganda of course uh, out there you can get factory re refurbished and and get some sort of warranty cover but here you're pretty much on your own so be careful what device you choose and how much you pay for it when you're doing the deal when you're making the purchase make sure to probably test the device and talk to the seller make sure that they are not going to switch off the phone on you when your phone starts having glitches a couple of days after you've bought it so test your phone make sure that the seller you're buying from is reputed so you know do, do do your social media stalking on them they usually have a profile online and you'll be able to find that do all these things and you should be fine with getting a flagship device so back to the question i asked in the beginning is it better to buy a used flagship than a brand new budget device and the answer is it depends it depends on all these things I've talked about. It depends on you and depends on what you want. Personally, I would take a two-year-old flagship over a brand new budget device any day. Okay, guys, that's been it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a new video. And if you want to learn how to probably search for a used device online, I'll be posting a guide on how to do that in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell turned on so that you don't miss that when it goes live. And I will see you in the next video.